For more than 4,500 years, the Great Pyramid has stood as a closed system, its stones locked, its passages measured, its secrets assumed exhausted. And yet, beneath its base, instruments now suggest something unexpected, a hidden space, isolated from human touch since the age of the pharaohs, waiting below the most studied monument on Earth. This revelation doesn't come from chisels or tunnels, but from waves and particles, modern tools designed to see through stone without breaking it. In recent years, teams working around the Great Pyramid have layered non-invasive technologies over one another. Ground-based radar surveys, microgravity readings, and muon tomography, a method that uses cosmic particles to map voids inside massive structures. When these datasets began to overlap, a pattern emerged an anomaly beneath the pyramid's core that doesn't behave like solid limestone. What makes this unsettling is not just the possibility of empty space, but its location. The anomaly appears beneath known internal structures, lower than the king's chamber, beyond the reach of any documented corridor. The Great Pyramid was never meant to be hollow at random. Every void we know, the descending passage, the queen's chamber, the grand gallery, was engineered with intention. A sealed space in this position forces a difficult question. Why build something deliberately inaccessible? The pyramid was constructed during the reign of Khufu, around 2600 BCE, using over 2 million stone blocks. Its internal design has long been thought to reflect a finished plan, simple, austere, final. But the instruments are now challenging that confidence. Microgravity surveys detect subtle differences in density beneath the structure, while radar reflections suggest boundaries that do not align with natural bedrock. These are not open caverns or collapse zones. They behave like enclosed architecture. This isn't the first time technology has embarrassed certainty. In 2017, the Scan Pyramids project stunned researchers by confirming a massive void above the Grand Gallery using muon detection. In 2023, the same project verified a previously unknown corridor hidden behind chevrons on the pyramid's north face. Each time, the response followed the same pattern. Skepticism, verification, then silence as the implications sank in. The monument was not finished being understood. What separates the newly detected anomaly beneath the pyramid is its symbolism. Ancient Egyptian architecture does nothing without meaning. Subterranean spaces were associated with the Duat, the underworld, the realm of transformation. Khufu's pyramid already includes a descending passage that plunges into the bedrock, leading to an unfinished chamber deep below. But this newly suggested void lies elsewhere, disconnected, sealed, and seemingly protected by design. If it is a chamber, it was never meant for priests, robbers, or even later kings. No wear marks, no airflow, no recorded entrance. That level of isolation implies a function beyond ritual maintenance. Some Egyptologists argue this could represent a symbolic space rather than a practical one. A chamber that exists to complete a cosmic equation rather than hold objects. Others quietly wonder whether this could be the most protected space in the pyramid, preserved precisely because it was never opened. The instruments cannot yet tell us what is inside, only that something isn't stone. And that limitation is intentional. Egyptian authorities have been clear. The pyramid will not be drilled without overwhelming justification. The structure is too unstable, too symbolic, too final. So the data accumulates instead, pixel by pixel, particle by particle, building a case rather than breaking a wall. What complicates matters is how well the anomaly fits Khufu's broader design philosophy. The Great Pyramid is not decorated. It contains no inscriptions. It resists interpretation. Its power lies in geometry and concealment. If there is a sealed room beneath it, that secrecy may be the point. Knowledge withheld was a form of control in Old Kingdom Egypt. The gods did not reveal everything, neither did the king. And then there's the uncomfortable possibility that this space was never meant to be found. Not by us, not by anyone. A chamber designed to remain intact across cycles of collapse, conquest, and forgetting. A space that outlived dynasties simply by being unreachable. Every generation believes it has reached the bottom of the pyramid's mystery. Every generation has been wrong. The Great Pyramid doesn't give up its answers loudly. It leaks them slowly, 
through instruments sensitive enough to hear what stone has been hiding since the age when the sun god ruled the sky and a living king claimed the horizon. Beneath that horizon, something remains sealed, not lost, not collapsed, just waiting in the dark beneath the most famous structure ever built. But the deeper we scan into the past, the more it becomes clear the biggest mysteries aren't always buried in stone. After ground-penetrating radar revealed a sealed space beneath the Great Pyramid, untouched for 4,500 years, our next story takes us somewhere far less expected, deep into the Amazon, where a lost tribe was found. And the tools they carry don't seem to belong to their time. Deep within the endless green heart of the Amazon rainforest, a discovery has shattered our understanding of human history. Archaeologists and anthropologists have uncovered a tribe that, by every known measure, shouldn't exist. These people live in complete isolation, untouched by the modern world, speaking a language never recorded, following customs that echo a time long before the birth of civilization. But what truly stunned scientists wasn't just who they were, it was what they were using. Because their tools, meticulously crafted and made from alloys that shouldn't exist in their environment, appear centuries, even millennia, ahead of their time. The story began in 2023, when a joint Brazilian-Peruvian expedition studying uncontacted groups in the upper Javari Valley made a startling discovery through satellite and drone surveys. Hidden within a region so remote it takes weeks to reach by river, Researchers noticed vast geometric clearings, rectangular and circular earthworks stretching for miles, visible only from above. These formations were unlike anything seen in the Amazon before. They suggested planning, geometry and engineering far beyond what local pre-agricultural tribes were believed capable of. When ground teams finally reached one of these sites, they found something even more astonishing remnants of an isolated tribe living among the ruins of a lost world. Their dwellings were simple, woven palm thatch and clay, but their tools were not. Carbon dating placed their settlement at least a thousand years old, yet among their possessions were metallic implements, chisels, blades, and fragments of composite tools containing traces of nickel and iron fused at temperatures far higher than any known pre-Columbian furnace could reach. The instruments showed microscopic machining patterns, almost as if they had been shaped with precision instruments. How could a people who still lived without electricity or wheels have access to metallurgy so advanced it challenges the known timeline of Amazonian civilization? At first, the scientific community was skeptical. Some suggested contamination, perhaps modern tools lost by loggers or miners. But metallurgical analysis revealed something baffling the alloy's isotopic composition didn't match any industrial source. In fact, it seemed native to the region, crafted using ores that exist in the Amazon basin, yet smelted in a way that defies known ancient technology. The team dubbed the find Project Yura after the local word for spirit. The Yura people, as they came to be known, had no oral memory of outside contact. When asked, through careful and ethical translation efforts, where their tools came from, elders spoke of the Sky Builders, a people who descended in fire long ago and taught their ancestors how to shape the earth like the sun shapes stone. At first, it sounded like myth, but as more was uncovered, the line between legend and archaeology began to blur. 